it's a cross. I see horizontal and vertical bars. Well, did you see it clearly? I have let you see my head, hands and feet as of a human being. Mark well, as of the son of man, the rest is as of the spirit. You shall have this image made and spread together with the prayer I recited. For I wish to be the lady of all nations in this time. And that is why I want the prayer with the image to be translated into all major languages and prayed every day. You do not know what great value this prayer and picture have. Child, once more I insist that this be carried through. It is of great importance that you, child, do not let others deter you from it. Look carefully, child. Look carefully once more. Now look carefully at this cloth once more. Listen carefully to what this means. This is as the loin cloth of the sun. For I stand as the lady before the cross of the sun. Look carefully. I am standing on the globe. Around the globe, child, you thought you were seeing clouds. But look carefully at what I will let you see. This image of the flock of sheep represents the nations of the whole world who will not find rest until they lie down and in tranquility look up at the cross, the center of this world. Now look at my hands and describe what you see. These are three rays. The rays of grace, redemption and peace. Through the grace of my Lord and Master and out of love for humanity, the Father sent to the world His only Son as Redeemer. Now both of them want to send the Holy, the true Spirit, who alone can be peace. Hence, grace, redemption, peace. The Father and the Son wish to send Mary, the Lady of all nations, in this time as the co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate. This picture will proceed the co redemptrix This will be carried from the city to city and from town to town. Our Lady explained to Ida each part of the image and imprinted it in Ida's mind. The image was painted by Henrik Repke, a German painter in 1951, according to Ida's direction. And it is this picture that we now know as the image of the Lady of All Nations. So far, the Church has proclaimed four Marian dogmas. Mary's divine motherhood, her perpetual virginity, the immaculate conception, her assumption into heaven. This picture and prayer will pave the way for the declaration of the fifth and final Marian dogma of Codemptrix, Mediatrix and Advocate. Now, I will explain something to you again. Listen carefully. Try to understand what this message means. Now look carefully and listen. The following is an explanation of the new dogma. As co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate, I stand on the globe before the cross of the Redeemer. By the will of the Father, the Redeemer came to the world. Thus, from the Lady, the Redeemer received only, now I am stressing the word only, the flesh and blood, that is to say the body, from my Lord and Master. The Redeemer received His Divinity. In this way, the Lady became the Co-Redemptrix. From the very beginning, Mary was chosen to be the handmaid of the Lord. She went before her son, united herself with him and followed him. She suffered with Jesus for the redemption of us all. Christ has entrusted us all to her, taken up into heaven 
Now she comes as the lady of all nations. Once you begin to ask the Holy Father for the dogma, the lady will fulfill her promise and true peace will come. Humanity is entrusted to the mother. For the son said, Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Therefore, co-redemptrix, mediatrix and advocate. Much controversy will arise over this. The Church Rome, however, shall not be afraid to take up the struggle. It can only make the Church stronger and powerful. Do not be afraid. The powers of hell will break loose. They will not, however, defeat the Lady of all nations. Satan is not yet expelled. How strongly Satan is ruling, God alone knows. He now sends his mother, the lady of all nations, to you, to all nations. She will defeat Satan, as has been foretold. She will place her feet upon Satan's head. Holy Mary had given many directions, warnings, and pieces of advice. Parents, Bring your children to the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall teach them how to pray again, just as the Lady of all nations teaches you to pray her prayer. The Lady asks you, parents, teach your children this prayer. Bring your children back to the sacrifice. Bring young people back to the right religious attitude. It is difficult and hard for those who have this at heart. I cannot, however, insist upon it enough. It is high time to begin. Keep on praying the whole world. The whole world, however, will have to return to it. Great and small, poor and rich, but it will take effort. Our mother told the priests and the religious. A lot, however, has to be changed in the church. The formation of priests will have to be changed. A more modern formation, suited to the times, yet good in the good spirit. Now I am speaking to all priests and religious. All of you are apostles and handmaids of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now the lady is not reproaching you. She knows she has human beings before her. It is hard for you in this time, but act in the spirit of your Lord and Master. He went before you as God, as man. Our Lady reminded the Holy Church. Why does Rome not seek for more modern means? And why do they not work more in the modern spirit? They should take advantage of these means to win over the world spirit. There are others to care for the body. The church has to work on forming the spirit. Right now, they have such a great opportunity for humanity is searching. It is no longer a fight against nations but against the spirit. Holy Mary warned the unfortunate people who leave the Holy Church. Do not listen to false prophets. Listen only to your shepherds, to your ministers, to the voice of your conscience, to a higher being. And this I say for those who do not belong to the true church. You people of the Church of Rome, be aware of your great, great fortune. Realize what it means to belong to the Church of Rome. Do you really act accordingly? 
before the Lord Jesus Christ died his natural death before the Lord Jesus Christ went up to the Father before the Lord Jesus Christ appeared in the world coming